All right, check it out guys, it's Trevor James. We are in Kuantan on the east coast of Malaysia. It is absolutely beautiful here. This is just endless beaches and fishing villages and I'm so excited because this is the ultimate East Malaysia road trip we're bringing you on. And today, we're driving our way up the east coast a little bit north into the small little villages and bringing you Pratanza street food that we find along the way. Check it out guys. This is it. Part three of seven of our ultimate East Coast Malaysia road trip. And today, we're bringing you in all the way from Kuantan to Dungun, the land of seafood, and taking you for some incredibly unique food and beautiful locations along the way. So make sure to watch this video all the way until the end so you don't miss any of it. Let's eat. And here we are guys, just driving through Kuantan. It's a beautiful, small little city and we got a lot of food to eat today. First up, we're bringing you to a warong, a local tiny little street stall with tons of delicious food. And then we're gonna be driving all the way up the coast. Let's go check it out, guys. And here it is, guys, look at this. It's just right here, wow, look at that. Right on the street. Okay, guys, and we just walked up to the ultimate Bakar Bakar station. Look at this. This is all grilled lamb and chicken. And we were just talking with the owner. It's in a spicy and sweet barbecue sauce, their own homemade barbecue sauce. Your name? Uh, Aja. Aja. Oh, Aja. Warang Aja. Thank you, Aja, for having us today. Wow, and look at this. There's sotong bakar as well, which is fried squid. Here we go. He's just slicing into that sotong, and it is looking beautiful. It's got that sweet, barbecue-y, spicy smell to it. Incredible. It's a rich-looking sotong. Terimakasih, boss. Let's go try some food out. And we're gonna start with rice. Thank you, Aja. Oh, that's the ikan bilis. Look at all these fried fish. Okay, and then here's the ulam. Patai. Oh, patai. Terry Makassi. Okay, I try. Thank you, Aja. And I love how Malaysia has so many different types of ulam. Ulam Raja. That's the king's ulam. Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And then what are these here? These are all the sambal. Sambal. All spicy. All spicy. I think maybe I'm gonna try the mango sambal. I think that's a fermented shrimp paste sambal and, oh, and tempoyak, okay. And then you have a lot of food here as well. Oh, that's the fermented durian. This is just beautiful. Look at all these dishes here. I've just taken some fish, some eggplant, but there's really everything you could need here. There's seafood, there's meat, regular chicken and lamb, vegetable dishes, and we've got some lala and the crab, and this is the gulai masak lamak, I believe. So it's a coconut turmeric curry with lots of chili, and make sure to just soak the rice. And we've got the sotong station here. Look at all these beautiful sotong right off the grill. And sauce, okay. Oh, extra sauce, terimakasi. And chicken too, terimakasi. <laughs> wow, nampak it up. Hi. Thank you, Aja. Hi. Wow. We just got a full-on warong-style lunch. And this is just such a beautiful meal, guys. So we've got the sambo, tempoyak. We've got the sotong bakar. And then these are the ulam, right? Ulam raja, king's leaf. And then... Oh, and these are cashew leaf. Wow, and then we got some grilled fish, and then your special, the ayam bakar and the kambing bakar. Thank you, Aja. Thank you. And what I'm loving so much here is this mixture of tempoyak, sambal, the balachan sambal, which is a shrimp paste sambal, and we're just gonna, oh yeah. Let's just try that curry rice out first. That's sambal. Mmm. Mmm. She knows how to make spicy sambal. That is a strong durian, extremely spicy, potent, fermented curry. And then one thing we really gotta try, I think these are the cashew leaves, that's what she was saying. And let's just dip it in some sambal balachan. That's a fermented shrimp paste, spicy sambal. Mmm, 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 mmm. Actually, the leaf itself is quite dry. It's like chewing a paste with that spicy sambal. I think I like that. And next up, we can go for this grilled chicken. That is so juicy looking. And it looks like a, a regular barbecue sauce, but let's see how it tastes. Mmm, mmm. It actually tastes like a regular barbecue sauce. Very nice, slightly sweet, slightly spicy, delicious. And Aja just gave us that special sauce for this fish. Look at this, guys. This is the red thin fish coated in a turmeric spice mix and fried. And we're just gonna peel the scales 
And this is what Malaysia is all about. The sambos, tamarind sambos. So it's gonna be spicy, sweet, and sour. Let's try it out. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that is all you need right there. That Assam sambo is delicious. Sour, sweet, and spicy. And overall, it's just a fantastic meal, especially with that coconut milk, turmeric spiced rice, and all of the mixed sambos. Let's finish this meal and keep going. Mm. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. That was delicious. See you. Bye bye. <laughs> And next up, before making our way to Dungun and finding the ultimate alien slipper lobster, we're driving up the beautiful east coast and finding some unique street snacks. But first, we gotta bring you for a very unique take on the ultimate Malaysian street dessert, durian chandel. Okay guys, and we're just driving through downtown Kuantan now. One more stop before we keep driving up north along the east coast. We're gonna cool down because it is so hot the weather today, we need an ice cold dessert. So let's go find one. And here we are guys, look, we just found a durian chendol. We're gonna line up and I think we're gonna watch how it's made too. Hi boss, how are you? Wow, so you're making all the special Malaysian desserts here. Oh, and this is the chendol. So Salim here is gonna be preparing for us the special chendol durian. Is that okay? Okay, thank you Salim. <laughs> Okay, and chendol is one of the must-try, absolute must-try desserts of Malaysia. And look, it's just shaved, beautiful shaved ice into a condensed little cone. And here's the santan, guys. Look at this. Wow. And there's the chendol on the bottom. Look at that. And after topping the shaved ice with some incredibly rich gula malaka, some very rich Malaysian durian, pandan jelly, and of course, rich coconut milk, it was ready to eat. And this for us? Yes, for you. Okay, thank you, Salim. Yeah, yeah, wow, it looks good. Okay. Thanks so thank much. You. All right. Thank you, Salim. <laughs> and here we are, guys, look at this. Salim just made us the ultimate chendol. This is chendol air puti. It's in the white water street. So every chendol is different. Some have a more roasted gula malaka flavor, some are more milky, some are more creamy. This one has a durian and oh, the shaved ice. A lot of the time, that's the secret as well. For me, I love chendol when the gula malaka is saturated into the ice. So it has an extra sweet burst. Let's try it out. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. The chendol itself is sweet. The gula malaka has that classic natural roasted goodness to it and then the pandan jelly has a vanilla smoothness and it's really cooling and refreshing. Mm. Mm. Oh. So much caramel flavor in that durian. It's like a caramel, milky, odorous goodness and then with that vanilla milky chendol, that's awesome. And Salim totally just hooked us up. That can compete with one of the best. Sang it's it up. I love the gula malaka and the santan. Thank you, Salim. See you next time. Thank you. You too. That was amazing, guys. And we're gonna keep going. And next up, before the ultimate alien slipper lobster seafood feast in Dungun, we're stopping on the side of the road at a random beach along the way, enjoying the sun, and then bringing you to a local street snack. And next up guys, check this out. We're just driving north along the beach roads now, the small roads. There's unlimited coconut trees here. The sky is blue and we're right beside the most beautiful endless beaches I think we've ever seen. And here we are guys. Just pulled over a random spot on the side of the road and we're gonna see how beautiful this beach is. Wow. It sure is beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Endless beaches. This is just what the whole stretch is gonna be like. No people. No people. You don't have to pay for any expensive places. You can just, this is already pure luxury. Look at that. Wow, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Just coming into Terengganu now. We finally made it. And we are just pulling up, checking out these street stalls. What do we got here? Hi, Hapakaba. Oh, in Yapa. So we've got the Satar, we've got the Otak Otak, 
the spiced fish paste with curry in there, and the pulut pangan. Wow, the Malaysia special. Let's try one out. So this is a spiced fish paste wrapped in a banana leaf. Oh, Sarah McCassie. Mm. Oh yes, it up. It's sweet and spicy. And you can see they use natural wood here. Wow, let's get a few more of those for the road. So there's the satar, and then there's the otak otak wrapped in a banana leaf. Oh, otak otak. Wow, look at that. Any <laughs> otak otak ada apa? Ikan? Oh, kelapa, oh coconut, kelapa. Bawang, onion. Assam, oh, that's tamarind? Assam. Gula, oh, and sugar. <laughs> and there it is. Ikan, ikan salayang. Oh, so that's sardine and uh, rumpa. So that's the local spice mix. Mm. Oh, rumpa curry. Oh, yeah. Mm, it's like a sweet curry. Mmm. <laughs> there, Makassi. See you next time. Bye bye. That's amazing, guys. We just got some street side snacks. There's so many stalls all along the coast here, and we just stopped at a random one, and they're actually very, very delicious. And next up is the moment we've been waiting for to bring you in for the ultimate Dungun seafood feast with one of the most unique alien slipper lobsters cooked in a spicy kaffir lime sauce. You need to see this. Okay guys, and here we are, just made it into Dungun. This is an incredibly relaxing seaside town, and we're almost in Kuala Terengganu as we make our way further and further north. And to finish up the day here, guys, we're gonna stop in for some famous seafood, and we're gonna see what we can find here, guys. This is Malaysian East Coast style seafood cooking right here at Madan Ikan Bakar. Let's go check it out. And here we are, guys. Look at how beautiful this is, right on the peninsula here. So blue, the ocean is incredible, and... Hi, boss. Apa kabar? Oh, banyak ikan. Look at this, guys. Udong ketop. Udang ketop. Udang ketop. <laughs> so this is the slipper lobster, or flathead lobster, I believe. And we're gonna make that masak chili kering. So with uh, chili. And then you've also got other... Oh, sotong. Tons of sotong, banyak sotong, and it's gonna be chaluk topong, so fried, and it's gonna be set up. And there's our fish, guys. We've got three slipper lobsters, flathead lobsters, one mirror fish, and one giant sotong squid. And here we are, guys. We just got invited into the kitchen. Hi, boss. Hi. Apa kaba? Hi. And we just stepped into the ultimate Malaysian seafood kitchen. Take a look at this. So boss is first gonna make the steamed mirror fish with lime. Okay, here we go. Let's see how he makes it. So ginger, garlic, and chili. That's beautiful. Asamboy. Asamboy. Uh. Asamboy. Oh, white onion. Uh. And this is the most amazing wok station, guys. Here, look at this. Three woks, all cooking Malaysian seafood. And you can see he's just picking all of these ingredients. So a little bit of salt, a little bit of oh, sugar, a little bit of garlic. Uh, wow. Lemon juice. Lemon juice. Yes. And... Oh, sauce sidang. So he just mixed in lemon and oyster sauce. Oh, and it's going right on that fish. Wow, look at that. Oh, and here's our slipper lobster. So we're gonna make uh, chili kering. Chili kering. Okay, he's just throwing it in. Oh, there's the chili. Wow, it's full of chili. And then kaffir lime leaf. Down limau. Down limau. Oh, that looks like it's gonna be delicious. So chef is just frying this slipper lobster in the most incredible aroma combo of kaffir lime leaf and the chili kering. And there it goes, look at that. Chili kering. Oh, ho, nampak it up. Oh, and there's the sauce. It smells amazing. Nampak it up. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Oh, and here's our chaluk tabong. Squid going in. Wow. This is the Terengganu special. Wow. So that is eggs and flour. Oh, and there it is. Wow. Finished. Look at that. Nampak it up. Nampak it up. And there it is. Wow. And any apa? Sauce kapung. Oh, sauce kapung. So that's onion, chili, and tamarind sauce. Wow. Oh, and here's our nasi goreng seafood. You can see the fried onions, the sotong squid, and the prawns. And here the dishes come. 
fried rice. That's the special there, guys. The slipper lobster. It almost looks like a chili Sichuan sauce. And then the sotong, the fried squid. And then we've got that lime mirror fish. Wow, and here it is. There, Makassi boss. And here's the mirror steamed fish with lime. There, Makassi. Wow, banyak ikan. <laughs> oh, look at this, guys. And this one here is looking like the real standout to me, the slipper lobster. You can see he's loaded it with these kaffir lime leaves and that red chili infused sauce. So it already smells like citrusy and full of lime. And then we've got a classic Malaysian fried rice, nasi goreng. And then we've got the mirror fish, steamed and covered in a lemongrass, ginger, green chili, garlic, and lemon sauce. And then we've got the famous sotong chalup topong, which is classic fried sotong. And this is a Terengganu special. And this fried squid comes with this chuka topong sauce, which is chili, tamarind, and onion, I think. So it's gonna be sour and spicy. And we can just dip that in. I can't wait to try this. And also that kaffir lime alien lobster. Mm. 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 Oh. Mm. oh, it's perfectly sweet and spicy. I'd say it's more sweet than spicy. And that sotong has that incredible aroma that you get when you fry things in flour and eggs. So aromatic. And here we go, look at this. We're gonna go in, wow, there's the slipper lobster. Look at that body meat. Oh my goodness. And you can really smell that kaffir lime, citrusy goodness. And I've never tried this before. I'm really looking forward to trying this. Let's go in. Mmm. 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 That slipper lobster. Oh, look at all of that meat. I would say it's like a regular lobster times 100 because it is so much softer. The meat is just melting in your mouth. It's not muscular like regular lobster. And then this sauce here, that's actually quite sweet and spicy. And then it's got an amazing citrus hit from the kaffir lime and a little bit of nuttiness as well because he's added in lots of sesame. I think that's one of the best lobsters you'll ever eat there. It's just pure soft. Terima kasih, Bas. Wow. Semua sangat sedap. Wow. Ini, 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 dan ini. Semua sedap. Thank you, Bas. Sangat sedap. Thank you very much. See you next time. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. See you. Bye bye. Thank you. Hope you guys are enjoying this Terengganu East Coast series. Please leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know what you thought. And thanks a lot for watching, guys. This is a lot of fun making these videos for you.